the, the, this war between masculinity and femininity? What are you witnessing from the inside through your, through your work? I have seen over the years in my practice a steady decline in the expression of healthy masculinity and healthy femininity amongst my patients. In the last two years, I've seen a complete collapse. Men in my practice, especially younger men, men in their teen years, their 20s, early 30s, have no ability to express desire for women in a healthy way, to interact with women verbally and socially in a healthy way, and many of them have no desire to even be engaged in a sexual relationship with a woman. They have substituted their libido and their expression of libido by pursuing women, which is a healthy thing for men to do. If men stop pursuing women, we, we're done. We don't have more human beings. They're no longer doing that. They're now sitting at home playing video games and watching porn because it's safer and it's easier to do that. And they will never be rejected and they will never be criticized. They will never be told that they are toxic, that they are part of the patriarchy, that they are misogynistic, that they are committing a social faux pas. So they have given up. They've just taken themselves out of the dating world. They've taken themselves out of the social world with women. And women on their part are completely perplexed. They don't know what to do. They're alone. They feel abandoned. They feel unattractive. They feel undesirable. They can't find a date, much less a husband. They can't get married. They can't have children. The separation between the male and the female is almost complete now. And it's due specifically to the ongoing attacks against masculinity and the degradation of femininity, the propaganda that has been pushed by the radical feminists that define success for women to be competition with men, vanquishing men, full and complete independence from men. You don't need a man, which is a biological and social lie. That has been so successful that now both men and both women think that they can live apart. But the truth is they can't because when they come into my practice and I ask them how they're doing, they're not doing well. The men are completely without a course. They are listless. They are dysphoric. They are dysthymic. The women are depressed and anxious and none of them are talking to one another. So this attack on masculinity and femininity is, in my view, undergirding a large degree of the psychological distress, particularly in younger people right now. And as they continue to lead these separate parallel paths of isolation, there will be no way for them to develop the skills and even the desires that are necessary for them to get together and to marry and to have children and develop families. Mm -hmm. And if our family structure is lost in the next generation, what do we have left? We're just a bunch of listless individuals living our lives out virtually behind a computer screen, working remotely and following the orders of the government.